Hello, News Round. I am Richard Garriott, and I have just finished a dive down to the bottom of the deepest place on Earth, 36,000 feet down to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. And it's only the first few hundred meters the light naturally penetrates, so it gets dark very fast. And even though it takes four hours to drift to the bottom, it's within the first five or 10 minutes that you're deep enough where you are in true, uh, utter blackness. You know, this dive was organized to advance our understanding and science in parts of the ocean that are only just now being reached. The submersible is called Limiting Factor. It is the only vehicle in the world right now that can repeatedly dive down to the depths where other submarines uh, have never been able to reach. So about half of the deep ocean has never been able to be studied prior to the creation of this particular uh, submersible. We're bringing back mud samples to look for extremophile life forms that live in that mud. Uh, we're also bringing back water samples and silt samples from down in the depth, uh, looking for microplastics. Unfortunately, we're at an early check. It looks like we've already found some. So uh, microplastics we've found on all my trips to the poles and uh, all the other exploration I've done around the globe. We are finding plastic everywhere. Uh, in all the water and frankly also in all the uh, animals that we're finding that live in that water. What we've seen uh, here on these dives are some creatures called amphipods and these uh, little shrimp-like creatures, uh, almost like headless shrimp because they have no eyes. We'll be sending those off to the researchers as well. One of the things they're looking for is also whether there's plastic in their bodies uh, as well as uh, what their biology is like and how they can survive in such, under such tremendous pressure that you have down there.